Hi, welcome. I just wanted to give a quick video on my uh, portable 20 meter uh, loaded coil uh, amateur radio antenna uh, that I recently built. Uh, inside the bag is my QCX Mini and uh, and other accessories. And here's the actual um, antenna itself. Um, here for kind of scale. Here's my hand. Um, multiple pieces here. Usually I just have this all. It's a strap. I'm going to try to balance my uh, my phone as I show you this. Um, but it comes in three sections here. Uh, and this is actually, uh, I undo this right here. This is a tiki torch stake. Um, and uh, I can un undo that and, and pull this through. And so what you have here is you actually have uh, three sections that were based on a 42 inch uh, painter pole that I got at Walmart. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, what you can see here is that there is the uh, top section in which I have drilled a hole um, and uh, put the, uh, the base, the screw bit of a whip antenna, a three foot whip antenna that um, I got with my SDR dongle a while back and didn't use. Um, I put a hole in there and hot glued it in, nothing too fancy. In there fits the whip. And then this is all covered in uh, in silicon tape and uh, also electrical tape. But what you can see here is that this is a, uh, a, a series of, of coils. I just used a speaker wire. Um, what I did is I soldered it to the base, the wire to the base of the of the screw connector there um, in the uh, in the hot glue, and ran it down here and then coiled it. I think as uh, a 48 times or so. Again, I'll have a write-up in the description. Um, coiled it there, um, and of course I've taped it all up here um, and uh, and ran it down. And this is for the 20 meter element. Um, nothing, nothing too exciting. I just used a lot of speaker wire. Um, ran it down into a series of butt connectors here, um, and then it's really easy. From here, you have connects to here. This connects to here. And this is just the base piece. And then on the bottom here, you have the third one. And this is uh, real easy. Just kind of runs the wire down here. So it's about three feet of, kind of uh, wood and then three feet of whip. Uh, you have um, a connect butt connector at the top. And then it runs down into a B and C connector, which um, I just uh, soldered it in the center, the wire into the center connector of the, of the B and C. And then I made two little pigtails with uh, butt connectors, wires of butt connectors that are two counterpoises. You can use one counterpoise, two is kind of nice for a 13 foot or two 13 feet uh, wires that I run out. And, uh, and then from there, this all fits into a Tiki Torch stake, which works really well. And this all sort of packs up. Let me, um, I can't balance the phone and put this together, but it all just screws together, plug it in, piece of cake, and I will join you in the yard where I'll show you sort of how it works. All right, so about a minute later, uh, sorry, I apologize for the wind, but a minute later, I assembled this, kind of screwed it all together, and uh, put in the, uh, the, uh, the butt connectors also attach the coax down here. Got a little bit of a choke there just to keep in mind that there is a little RF feedback I got here. So um, put it uh, put it on there and took care of the problem. A little buzzing in my QCX. Um, and also I attached uh, two 13-foot uh, counterpoises. And I heard that these were actually directional. So I attached these east to uh, east-west and they helped keep the SDR, um, the SW, SWR uh, down quite a bit. Um, also you can see here that the cool thing about the whip is that you can actually adjust uh, adjust the length, and uh, and so you can kind of fine tune it right there. This is all without a uh, tuner. Let's take a look at the uh, the SWR without stepping too much of the counterpoise. Um, and we are, as we get into focus here, at 14.040. We have an SWR of 1.04 to one. So really, really good. Um, you can see that the uh, the the width of this uh, window is is uh not terrible like you could probably get a lot of uh 20 meters in here um you could it's actually quite quite narrow i mean quite wide so that's uh that's actually really quite wonderful um if you're um, working uh, a phone as well um and i don't know what the power wattage is here the ax1 is up to 30. i mean i wouldn't put 100 in here it might melt it but um i bet you could do okay with a zygu or something like that all right now wait one other surprise here um, if you read the description you probably saw it, but 
it, there's more. And so I also got a little greedy. I'm like, how far can I push this? Because on 20 meters, I got to Arizona, Connecticut, Ohio. Uh, Reverse Beacon Network sent me to like, you know, British Columbia, down to Costa Rica. So, I mean, I think I'm getting out. Um, but what I wanted to do is I was curious about, could I also wind a 40 meter coil and put it in here? And so um, that's what I did. Now, if there's like about 48 turns, around 50 turns for 20 meters, this is like double that. It's a lot of speaker wire used in here. But lo and behold, I did it kind of works so hang on one second I'll assemble that and let you know how it goes all right so here is the uh, antenna about a foot longer with the um, with the 40 meter coil attached with the, the orange stripes um, this is this is great it's the same sort of thing what I did the only difference between swapping that in which takes no time is adding 20 feet on either side of the counterpoint is to 33 feet so about you know, 20 meters of uh, of wire you got going on here and you can actually do just one um, and I'll show you sort of what that looks like uh, in a second here um, but uh, but pretty great and let, let's see you can adjust everything make it fine tune no tuner with just the whip and if we take a look at the meter here in the Sun um, you have at 1.40 you have an SWR 1.25 to 1 so really great now look at how narrow this band is though of uh, of SWR goodness it's a technical term it goes from 6.95 to 1.60 so you got about 150 kilohertz before you'd have to retune if you had a tuner or you want to just do this manually you could also fit a lot of uh, the 40 meters in there as well now 40 meters surprisingly I tuned this up this morning and uh, and fired it away and uh, I got you know the Arizona and uh, and Wyoming uh, and uh, and also Arkansas from Oklahoma and so that's pretty darn good I think to get that far on 40 meters at about you know eight o'clock in the morning or so um, so things are things are doing well this is not an ideal antenna but you know the sure I built this to um, be able to have uh, have some quick QSOs during during lunch and not draw too much of a crowd um, if, I, if I don't want it or if I do it's not erecting a 20-foot uh, fishing pole uh, or throwing wires in the trees so anyways uh, thank you so much